The zap gun means that money is no longer an issue. I'm gonna be filthy rich. And I believe this is where they're hiding. Let's learn these skills. Ah, Majima, glad you could make it. Just stop by for a look. Okay, all right. Just happy you showed up. Look, I ain't got a whole lot of time. What's the plan here? We figured we could make a name for ourselves and make some coin at the same time. We're gonna put on these big fights, the three of us against you. Of course, we'd fight with breakdancing. <laughs> what do you think? Nobody's gonna fork over hard-earned coins just to watch some guys dance around and pretend to fight. I don't wanna get pathetic here. So we just gotta make it worth their while then. This'll be a real fight, intense enough to leave them with their jaws so low, they're letting flies in. You serious? Even if we pull punches, that's gonna leave some bruises, you know? Yeah, I'm serious. Couldn't be more serious. We could call them breaker battles. We'd be the talk of the town after that. Wouldn't hurt to try, I guess. Let's do it. Where'd you have in mind? Ain't gonna draw a crowd back here in this alley. On our main stage, of course. Let's head to our digs on the bridge. We'll show them what real breaking's all about. So now I'm doing this to make money, but I don't need money. Now that I can take down Mr. Shakedown in two minutes instead of eight minutes. So all I gotta do here is survive for two minutes, okay. Oh, he's going crazy, ooh. Oh. So he's hitting me with those moves. Here we go, now I'm getting into rhythm. Yeah, how about that? How about that? Oh, 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 we're in a loop. Cause I'm doing the move when I get knocked down and he's doing it too. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. We're gonna make two million, almost three million. That's not bad. A few more seconds. Easy work, not bad. I'll take it. Ow, ow, ow. Foot. You all right? I was trying to hold back, but I landed a few head crackers there. Uh, I'll survive, I think. How'd the show go, though? Wasn't counting on any tips at all, so I figured we did pretty damn good. Once we put a bit of polish on things, we might make some real green. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm thinking we can make this work. Let's do this again soon. Here, this is your cut from today's haul. You got 592K, okay? Hmm, what's up? Seems a little short is all. We raked in more than this, didn't we? What? That's your 20%. It's all there. 20%? I don't want to put your head in a poorhouse or anything, but you do know who was doing the real work out there, don't you? Come on, man. Don't be like that. Sure, we were putting on a show, but it still hurts like hell to be on the other end of those kicks of yours. I'm going to have to spend a fortune on hot compresses to get the swelling down. And the only reason we get to use that bridge is because I won that spot for us. And, and, okay, okay. Maybe you got a point if you factor in the uh, treatment and location. I'll take 20% for now. <laughs> Glad you see it my way. Now I can pick up one of those CD boom boxes. Boom boxes? I said compresses, hot compresses. You must have heard me wrong. Look at that chase! You got a mouth on you, all right. Still, I guess I can trust that you're serious about dancing. Okay, I'll see you around. <laughs> yep, we'll be waiting. <laughs> Majima, you're back. 
Yeah. Awesome. We're gonna start off with some training today. Training, you say? Ain't no need for that. But I've been dreaming up some new moves. Haven't actually tried them out myself. So we gotta put some practice in to make sure they work. Way I see it, you're the only one who can pull these off. So we gotta make sure your dancing's up to scratch. Give me a sec here. These are what I had in mind. Which one you wanna practice? Five new moves, let's get it. Okay, essence of friendly fire it is. Let's give it a go. You're gonna bring the pain to two guys coming at you. And don't forget about a bodacious pose. Make your move as soon as you see one of them try to hit you. Okay, so this is a nice counter attack. Let's add this to the collection of moves. So when you're in between two enemies, all you gotta do is press triangle. Okay, it is popping up. So let's wait on it. Okay, now I press it. Okay, so you can press it before they throw, before they actually do an attack. Cause it didn't look like, oh, what an elbow. Okay. That was easy work. I think I like that when I got the hang of that. That's gonna come in handy. That was totally fresh. Let's keep this going for the real show too. We'll show this off at the double knock performance. You learned the essence of friendly fire. Okay, pose soul finisher. Right after you knock a guy down, you're gonna finish him off with a lightning quick blow. A charged up windmill ought to knock him down easy. So now I just press triangle when I'm near them on the ground. Easy enough. Finish off a guy on the ground. Sounds easy enough. So it doesn't seem like there's any heat requirements for this. You just hit triangle when they're on the ground. Oh, I did another one of these, baby! Oh, what a shot! That is a nice heat action. Look at that. See, I just hit him. I don't think you have to use for that. Okay, here goes another move. Time to show you a move to pull off after a big jump. You're gonna run up and unleash a massive spinning elbow attack. And you gotta make it look radical, okay? Let's do it. This is definitely the easiest move. Look at that, just run, hit triangle. Easy work. Run up out of there, and it kinda knocks him out. Look at that. That's a nice move added to the collection. I'll take that. Okay, rolling snake it is. You gotta dodge an attack, then wrap yourself around him, just like a snake around its victim's legs. Gonna look like a dweeb if you mess it up, so stay cool. So X to evade, and then quickly circle. So let's give this a try. So this one's a little tricky, because you have to have your bars up so you gotta have, okay, there it is. That's the final time. That one's more conditional. That's the problem about that. So I'll take it, easy work. Okay, essence of blade biting. For this attack, you're gonna catch a katana swing with your teeth. We ain't gonna use a real blade, but you'll still feel it if you mess up. The stakes are high. Wow, that sounds like some cheats. Now this sounds ridiculous. Oh, look at that. I did do it. Oh, that's hella glitchy. Really, imagine that. Can I do it one more time? I got it, I'm leaning back. There's no way. Imagine pulling that off in battle. That is ridiculous. The risk. So now I've got two sets of moves fully maxed out. I paid for everything. I'm sitting on 3 billion yen. I told you I'm rich out here with that zap gun. So now let's learn the old man's training so we can advance the story. I'm ready. I have been waiting for you. 
The time has come for me to initiate you in these ways. Huh? I ain't looking to do anything of the sort, old man. What was that? Do I look like a guy with a bunch of time to kill? You can keep your initiation or whatever to yourself. I see. I came here to fight. If you can't keep it simple, forget it. Very well. Then I shall devote myself to restoring my former power level. Yeah, that suits me way better. Let's do this. I shall begin then. These are the challenges you must pass. So there's five new moves. Let's get it. Huh? What are all these arts about? These are the secret arts used in my school of fighting. I intend to test your metal with each of them. Some pretty heavy sounding names there, but whatever. Let's get this party started, yeah? You seem to be taking this very lightly. Well, we will start with the warrior arts. Very well. It seems you're fit to go up against me. Let us begin then. Time to unleash the warrior arts. Get down to the ground, old man. Oh, I got him with this. Snapping that neck. Oh, shouldn't he be dead when you snap somebody's neck? Okay, here we go. So just quick step and then hit him. Look at that. You don't even really have to dodge it. Just let it fly. Easy work. Okay, now we got to finish off this fight. He's got a lot of health left. But the good news is that when I did that move, that heat action, he lost like half of his health. So if I get another one, what about on the ground? Try that. He might be done. He's done. It's over. Ah, a most satisfying bout. You're looking awful jolly for a man who just lost a fight. You finally take one too many jolts to the head, old man? Don't be ridiculous. By going up against powerful opponents like you, I seek to regain the instincts I had in my prime. Like I said, one punch too many. You really think you can get your groove back at your age? Just so. I have full control over my warrior arts once more, and I have you to thank for that. Yeah? Well, good for you. Oh, don't act coy. I noticed a glint in your eye that could only mean you were inspired by something. You were launching a quick attack after evading my strikes. We saw what Mike Tyson was looking like out there. Come on, old man. It just came to me while I was watching your move is all. Guess I'll call it evasion strike, maybe. Creative names are perhaps not your strong suit. Huh? What? What's wrong with calling it what it is? Well, the name is not near as important as the move itself. I look forward to our next bout. Now get out there and continue your training. The next secret is the mind arts. Mind arts? Now that's a disappointment. Here I was thinking there'd be some good old fashioned violence. Put simply, your willpower supports you in battle. When two equal powers clash, the one with more sheer force of will usually prevails. Even I could tell you that. You put that one on a scroll, don't waste paper on the basics. Did you think that was all there was to it? You will need to fully experience this for yourself. Are you ready? Let's get it. All good to go. Time to unleash the mind arts. So that's the only bad thing is that I guess once you get to the first bar, it doesn't work anymore. So it just get, oh, okay. It got me started, but then he broke the block. Okay, there we go. So now let me get rid of this guy. Put him down and then hit him with that move. There it is, heat action. Oh, it's this one again. Snapping the neck. That's gotta hurt. Easy work. What do you think of the mind arts? It sucks to fight against. That's what. 
What's the trick? There is no trickery involved. Simply read the movements of your opponent, then wear down their will to fight. I still don't get it. So you say, but you managed to pick up on the idea of it. I could feel my energy draining away when I attacked you. You noticed that, eh? I ain't big on getting my butt whooped, so I did what I could. You must have considerable talent to grasp it so quickly from sight alone. Your mind is a most interesting specimen. You can cut that kind of talk out right now. Anywho, I was picturing his hand while blocking your blows. A goddess of mercy, I did not take you for a man of faith. Ain't so much a matter of faith as a guy I knew in the old family that wore it as a tat down his back. I remember how soft the hands looked. I cannot fathom how you were able to penetrate the secrets of these arts so easily. What will you name this move then? Maybe I'll call it enlightenment. I'll take it. Fitting. How fascinating it is to witness these new discoveries as we battle. I look forward to our next bout. I hope to see you make further progress soon. Now get out there and continue your training. The next secret is the assassin art. Finally, some dangerous-ish. Originally, there were no assassination techniques in this style, but I found some mentioned when studying some old documents tied to my family's history. One of my ancestors may have had an occupation he had to keep hidden. So, you're gonna try to assassinate me now, are you? Just so. I doubt that a man of your fortitude would succumb to this, but stay on your toes nevertheless. Are you ready? Let's get it. No need to worry about me. Let's get started. Very well then. It's time to reveal my assassin art. So this move lets you escape from an enemy grab. It's about time. Oh, all you gotta do is press circle. See, why did it take so long to learn a move like this? And how come we can only do this move? You're supposed to grab me, buddy. How come we can only do this move in this stance? What about the other stances? Oh, that was beautiful. Ooh, he's down for the count. That one hurt. Got him. Okay, one more hit should do it. And there it is. He's weak. Once you hit him with any heat action, he is done for. So, you withstood the assassin arts. I was hoping to knock you out at the very least. It was touch and go there. Only got the one eye. So when you try to rip it out of the socket, I don't got many options. A true assassin will kill using the least possible effort. A single eye is a tempting target. Hell, I do the same. I must ask, what manner of counterattack was that? When I attempted to take you down, you threw me back in a way that I have never before encountered. Yeah. Well, you put me on the spot, so I improvised. <laughs> so you invented the move right then and there? Then a new technique warrants a new name. Does it? Didn't feel like anything that special. Then allow me the honor. I shall call it Frantic Throw. No snide reply? I just figured you'd be better at naming than me. It'll do though. What's in a name? Focus instead on building your strength. Now get out there and continue your training. I've got so much money, I could just go back to back. The next secret is the Vital Arts. Another fancy pants name. The Vital Arts are at the core of our fighting style. One of its signature attacks is called the Tiger Drop. Huh? So what's this tiger drop involved? If you can guess from the name, it boasts enough power to overwhelm even a tiger. You'll be up against a heavy hitting move here, so you could end up with a serious injury. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Let's taste this tiger drop of yours. I hope you do not come to regret those words. 
Now it is time to unleash the vital arts. You can transition directly into an attack after being struck by the enemy. Okay, this is just like... We've got this same combo with our other character. So we gotta wait for the hit, and then bam! There it is, that's done. He's got a lot of crazy moves here. There we go. Nice, okay, that might do it. If I can activate, that's it. Get him up out of there. Pack him up. Astonishing, not even the tiger drop was enough for me to prevail. Bravo. What ails you? You sure you weren't pulling any punches there? That tiger drop was fierce, but your other attacks felt kind of feeble. You are half right. Half right? I'm either right or I'm wrong, man. Exert 10% of your energy on attacks and avoid fatal blows by spending the other 90% on your defense. But when the tiger loses patience, shoot to kill. I'm losing patience with your riddles myself. That is the secret to using the tiger drop. If you attack a tiger recklessly, you'll be torn to shreds. Fight with caution instead, then unleash a single devastating blow. Now I see. So your ancestors passed down the secrets to laying out tigers too. Nay, the tiger of these teachings represents a powerful opponent who threatens to overwhelm you. To trade unarmed blows with the wild tiger would be a fool's errand indeed. Yeah, I've never met a tiger I wanted to get in the ring with. Only a dummy would take one on barehanded. Just so, the counterattack you unleashed after being hit by the by was rather effective. I was only trying to get some momentum back after eating one of those tiger drops of yours, and it just sort of came to me. To conjure such an inspired technique in the heat of battle, summoning the necessary skill at the moment it was needed, it could only be a revelation. I seem to be getting quite a few of these revelations when I fight you. Something you ain't telling me, old man? No. It signifies naught but a quick wit and keen instincts. The next challenge shall be your last. Get out there and continue my training. I hear you. I'm ready to come right back and get this final skill unlocked. We have reached the final secret at last. Annihilation Arts. Finally, I get to see you fight without holding back. And it is all thanks to you, but I must warn you. What now? If you are not careful, this fight could end your life. Make sure you are fully prepared. Are you ready? I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. Let's get to the action. Very well. Prepare to face annihilation. Parry an enemy's attack. So it took this long to learn how to parry. Okay, so we gotta hold this down. And then, ah. Uh, I gotta be patient. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And there we go. Oh, get down to the ground. Let's get him up out of here. A few more hits and he's done. He cannot run. He cannot hide. That might do it. Oh, it did it. He still has a pixel of health left. The final blow. Let's go. Got that man leaning. You still breathing? I am not dead yet. You have done well to hone your skills thus far. For the time being, I am satisfied. Mind if I ask a question? What is it? You're really back in peak form now? 
Not just yet, no. You were still able to best me, after all. Which is why I only said I am satisfied for the time being. You set your sights pretty high for an old guy. Does losing to me bother you that much? Not in the slightest. I came here in hopes of being beaten. You came to lose? What were you thinking? For generations, the masters of my style have selected their disciples only from those who could surpass them. I fought for years to find a worthy candidate, but over the decades, far too few in Tokyo have managed to best me. But you did find some, right? Just so. Yet those few who showed promise either went to war, never to return, or else chose a different path from that of becoming my successor. So that's why you left Tokyo, huh? More or less. My ancestors held many ties to this place, and there are more than a few rival schools here who bear us ill will. Such is why I have donned this name during my search. Fake name and everything, huh? You're going to a lot of trouble to find fresh blood, but like I said, I got no intention of becoming yours or anyone else's disciple. This is known to me. Therefore, I have endeavored to pass on as many of my skills as I could by sparring with you. Huh? I learned some new moves while we were fighting, sure, but I didn't really pick up any of your skills. Indeed, you saw the moves I unleashed, but those you picked up were different. Nothing seems to have gone according to my plans. As you said yourself, you are not destined to be anyone's disciple. But you do have an uncanny eye for detail. Certainly some natural talent is involved, but the loss of your eyes seems to have made an impact you may never have expected, an enhanced perception. Don't know about that. I don't think losing an eye really does anyone any favors. Existence and non-existence are the two sides of one coin. Some say when something is lost, something else is found. You may discover this for yourself as the years pass by. You gonna hang around long enough to find out? At least for the short term. There are rumors I have heard of a most interesting spectacle being held in the vicinity. I know what you're up to, old man. You're hoping to find someone there with the chops to beat you and make them your disciple. Am I right? <laughs> you see right through me. The event is underground, so it could prove a tough nut to crack, but I am eager to try. Guess I'll see you around then. I know you got plans and all, but don't you crap out on me and get killed, huh? I extend the same sentiment to you. Yet your potential remains unspent, so I should hope you will continue training. Farewell. So there it is, I got all the skills, all the training done, I'm ready to advance. My songs, He Quit The Game, Lob City, and My Camo are now available on all streaming platforms. You can hear them, I'm looking like Curry turning early! Yeah. Let's go! He gives it back to me. I let it fly. Come on, Kyle the glass. There it is. The game. Got it!